Russia launched its largest attack on Kyiv in weeks, as landing debris injured several and damaged schools and other infrastructures. Whilst in the northeast town of Kharkiv, emergency workers were still present at the site of a Russian missile strike a day after, which killed five people and injured several more. All the air defense provided to Ukraine, in particular by European countries, keep our cities and villages alive. But the existing air defense systems are not enough to protect our entire territory from Russian terror. And it's not a matter of hundreds of systems, but of an achievable number to protect all the territory of Ukraine. While Russia continues to expand its military capabilities, the Russian Defense Ministry paid a visit to a weapons production facility in Nizhny Novgorod, in which he inspected aviation weapons, artillery and tank shells. In Ukraine, construction workers dug deep trenches, building defensive fortifications in the north region of Kharkiv, near the shared border with Russia where intense battles are underway.